kita bikin. Oh kita bikin hari ini baru baru what's, ini nih. What's the punishment, punishment gonna be? Let's make a new rule. Okay. Um, <laughs> no, no. So, okay. so Calvin. Uh, yes. Calvin Jeremy. Yeah. Um, can you introduce yourself again? Just be- well, you didn't last time. I introduced you after 10 minutes. But no problem. <laughs> in the English section now, can you introduce yourself to anyone who's listening or watching who is not familiar with you or yes. even just Indonesian yes. industry at all? Or your friend somewhere in exactly United States. So my name is Calvin Jeremy. Uh, I'm known as a musician. I released my first album in t- 2010. Now I also an actor because I played in two movies and three movies actually. The last one I played in a web series with Dennis, mm-hmm. which you can watch it on yes, YouTube now. They should. So, yeah. so there we'll put we'll put a link in the bio, I guess. Yes. But, yes. Uh, yeah. yeah. They can check you out on your YouTube as well. Um, yeah. So, listen, we, we finished up the the Indonesian portion of the podcast talking yeah. about something that really makes me excited. So I want to pick okay. up with that. Yeah. Um, I had mentioned, it was very hard for me to explain because I was speaking in Indonesian. Cool. Uh, now your turn, bro. Yeah. So now let me explain yes. in English. I can fully... The spotlight in, is on uh, you now. Encapsulate what yeah. I was trying to say. Uh, so... What I was saying is that as an artist, yeah. and when I say artist, I mean like it can be anything, a painter, a writer, a director, a singer, an actor, and now all of the other kinds of art. An artist cannot produce their art, make their art for the audience with giving the audience what they want. There's, this is a very good quote I love by Alan Moore. Alan Moore Alan wrote Moore. Uh, Watchmen, V for Vendetta. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he wrote the comics, um, not the movies. But anyway, um, he says an artist cannot make, give the audience what they want because the audience doesn't know what they want. Yeah. And I wholeheartedly agree with that. Uh, because I think... We, I mean, sometimes we are the audience. Sometimes the artist is the audience, yeah. right? So it's not like I'm trying to say, oh, the audience doesn't know what they want. Screw the audience. <laughs> no, like I am the audience sometimes, you yeah. know? But the thing is, is like when we think of the audience, you have to think of like a society as one thing, one body. Yeah. Right? And and that, and societies, they go with the flow of time, yeah. you know? Yeah. So um, I agree. I don't, I don't think we should create our art to try to get, please them and give them yep. what they want which us as content creators any content creator out there i think there's a little bit of a difference between an artist and a content creator yeah and i think some content creators will get mad at me for saying this but at the moment there probably still is why yeah. because we're chasing follows we're chasing views it's and 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 we're not wrong for it that's just the way the economy for content creators is, is it exists at the time yeah right Though I do think some content creators rise above that, um, so so then it becomes a challenge of we kind of have have to become businessmen as well. Hmm, hmm. So it's like, how can I be an artist and a businessman? Yeah. Well, then that's that's now what the content creator is. I think. Yeah, I think uh, to answer your, I don't know what's what's your uh, you have any question. Uh, n- no, go for I mean, I want to hear what you have yeah. to say. Uh, I also, I partly agree that uh, audience, they don't know what they want. But now with the options that are present on, on social media on your phone, uh, for example, you can watch uh, your favorite movies right away. If you subscribe to, for example, Netflix or something, you can, you can, you have the freedom to choose what contents, what you want to watch. Uh, so I think it, complicates things with all the technology and stuff mm. that we have now uh, for an artist to really project what they want to say to the audience. So I think it's about finding the balance between it, between between the uh, pleasing the audience and uh, trying to convey what, what, what you want to say through your craft. So mm. yeah, it's, it's, it's finding the balance. And I think that's uh, where... An artist need a manager to mm-hmm. find a balance. So uh, I think a good manager is the one that can accommodate your art side 
and at the same time making money out of it mm-hmm. so right, yeah it's right, it's, right. it's 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 actually a pretty interesting uh, phenomena now with uh, all the digital uh, uh, advancement mm-hmm. and that you can do everything on your phone it's just one click away right mm. mm-hmm. well I mean I, I, I agreed with you to a degree in the sense that like well because in this situation I'm the artist yeah uh, I mean like okay so your man my manager happens to be someone you know very well yeah 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 but <laughs> and you're in a good hands yeah <laughs> thank you yes I agree um however I'm sure like like okay that's her job mm. and I'm cool with that okay yeah. how can she um make sure that the thing is marketable because if it's not marketable then what the heck is the point of, yeah. of having of me being her her talent yeah um and I agree with that However, my role is the art, right? So yes. I can be stubborn and hard-headed for the until the end of time, which I'm sure she has experienced. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, about, you know, my principles and no, and being this absolutist yeah. about uh, the art, the art, the art. Um, but that's fine, because that's, that's my job. And, okay. and I think her job is her job. And then eventually, um, she, she seems, I think she's a very patient person. So once I get over my stubbornness yeah. and we find some sort of compromise, not, I don't know if compromise is the right word, but it can be like making adjustments that work for both sides. There yes. We go. Yeah. Uh, then in the end, it works out. Well, the, the tension between the stubbornness of an artist and the urgency of a manager to sell their talents, their artists, so called, to say, uh, is, is, uh, that what makes us uh, even more uh, better person in the art perspective. So I guess, th- yeah, I I think I think it it makes us better uh, that we have also to think about pleasing the audience, pleasing our friends. Because uh, I'm not lying that we need that. We need to maintain our numbers on social media and <laughs> and uh, to keep on attached, to keep on engage, to keep them engaged with our works. Uh, at at the same time. How we can be happy, we, uh, we can be content with, with what we're doing. But I think you can speak from a better point of view than I can at the moment. Because you're a an artist and a content creator. Because I don't believe that you as a musician can fit in that content creator. Because you also do content though. Yeah. But as a musician, which I was telling you earlier i think when we cut <laughs> during the, yeah. the the indonesian section um your music i think yeah is not um how do i say this i don't want to insult all of the it's rest okay of the it's music okay in the yeah. world because i'm yours. ready with your answer i'm, I'm, with insult, with answer, I'm yeah. not insulting yours yeah i mean it's exactly what i said before so yeah. once i say you'll remember yeah um your music i don't think is this factory produced factory made yeah. you know it's not it, it has kind of more complex what did you say before chord not chords the uh, chords the chords i okay. like the complex chords the the in in bahasa it's uh jelimet jelimet is like uh, it's co- it's complicated sophisticated mm-hmm. or something yeah okay so there you go like you you i think are at a better position at this time yeah. uh in your career and in my career yeah. versus in, in you know looking them in contrast uh you're in a better position to say so because i think your music well you don't have to chase you can some musicians do yeah you don't have to be chasing you know the the who gotta give my my fans what they want my listeners what they want yeah as a content creator i think we're all a little bit more forced to do that though Mm -hmm. and and that's what i'm that's the distinction i'm trying to talk about yeah yeah as content creators we're just a little more chained to you know, okay, got it. Okay, this hasn't been working. Let me try something else. Yeah, well, actually, as as a so-called artist or musician, I adore how you can grab the audience. Like the first time I met you, I think your followers on Instagram was one hundred something, one hundred k or two hundred k. Now you have more than million followers. Mm-hmm. I think what I learned from being a content creator also is to really define what makes you happy uh i just i just learned this thing that i would like to uh, explain it to you uh right away that it is really important to find what really makes me happy so i was being uh, one, one day i was being honest with myself <coughs> what actually really makes me happy is it producing new songs producing albums or being 
uh, worship with your fans like oh i really love your song i will come to your concert so and so on what makes me happy is the idea of sustainability and to be more frank to be more honest is the numbers the 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 money i mean doesn't doesn't it doesn't mean that for the love of money but it is uh, i like the idea of sustainability because if you keep on producing but you're not earning at the same time eventually you will get disappointed so i think being a content creator is also uh, it it teaches me how to understand my uh, audience better okay so that from what we do we can earn i think that's the the idea it's as simple as as that but uh i've been lying i had been lying to myself in my my early years that oh i just want to make albums i want to be a, a legend in indonesia and something but what really makes you happy is when you earn like you earn from what you have worked hard i see i think can i try rephrase to, uh, it yes rephrase it? yes yeah. um You're saying that when you earn a profit from doing something, producing, yes. creating something that you enjoyed doing, yes, and got pleasure from doing, yeah, you see a result, yes, which which is the the lifeblood of our, yes, you know, money and, is what, and yeah, I think right. that idea is just it's it's our it's in our blood, it's it's something nature making a living, yeah, making a living, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I got you, I got you. Yeah, so so yeah being a content creator and an artist is is a, a new 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 phase in my life now because I learned so much from it uh and it came to a realization that a person has to make a living yeah. you cannot just okay I I just I I I want to follow my idealism I want to produce this kind of songs and I don't know how to earn from it it's yeah Yeah, you're right. And sometimes I can go on a very stubborn streak you yeah. know, about the artistic side. But I mean, now that you put it that way, like um, it's not like I overlook the business side completely. Yeah. Because to be honest, the the one script that I did finish during the lockdown, um, it's not my genre. You know, it's not my genre of film that I typically watch. Yeah. Uh, I actually chose it because when the idea popped in my head, I was like, "Whoa, this is a genre that would work in Indonesia, mm, mm, in, the, mm. in the Indonesian market." You know, my genre is sci-fi. I don't think sci-fi would work in Indonesia yet, yeah, not at this yeah, time. Yeah. Um, but uh, but this other one, it's kind of like a young adult romantic comedy. Mm, mm. So, which has a very dramatic uh, sub. What do you call it? It has a very dramatic story to it as well, but. Um, But I was able to write it from a perspective that um, satisfied me artistically. Mm. But I started with the idea from a perspective of this is marketable. Mm -hmm. So, so, so I think you're right. Yeah, you're yeah. Right. So I think uh, you are entering the stage of being mature as an artist. So uh, if if you just think about yourself, how to satisfy yourself, and not thinking about the audience whether it's your audience or its potential audience it's uh yeah it, it's a so part of uh being a mature uh, person as an yeah. artist i i think for, in my case reducing my stubbornness yeah yeah <laughs> finding the balance <laughs> yeah yeah um I, i would like one day to produce a sci-fi Can you s spill a little bit uh, what kind of movie that you want to produce this year? What is it about? The, the one that I'm talking about? Yeah. Uh, Just a little teaser. Almost no one's gonna get this far in the podcast. Okay, okay, so okay. I think I can. Not yet, okay. I think, no, I think I can. I think I can. Um a little just a little and to be honest like it's it's still in its what fourth draft or something like okay. that it could still change yeah. so who knows because it has changed a lot since the first idea until now yeah uh the main character is a girl uh in her high school she's a matchmaker okay she's uh like my tom blang right mm. she's a matchmaker in her high school and um in this story she she f gets the opportunity to set up her two favorite celebrities. Hmm. So, 
that's that's basically it. There's so much more to it. That's okay. like a really simple, 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 simple breakdown. Um, yeah, it's 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 interesting because yeah. you also watch lots of movies, right? I do. Yeah, I do. And and the funny thing is, is like, like I told you before, this is not my genre. I I don't often watch YA young young adult stuff, or even romantic comedies. Yeah, I've seen I've seen plenty, but I, this is not what I love. Okay, so it's not so, genre that you would watch in in your in your daily life i think so however that doesn't mean that i cannot like it because mm-hmm. i have seen like uh 50 first dates is yeah because to be honest that's my people. my favorite genre actually oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> i like uh, you call it what uh chiclet or something chick flick chick chick flick chick flick yeah, yeah chick flick yeah, yeah. yeah i like okay. those kind of genres because it really entertains me in 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 such way and you don't you don't have to think when you watch And I always I always say that you can watch it while you are eating Indomie. <laughs> <laughs> so I call it Indomie movie. Indomie movie. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So in this case, oh and then of course there's a role for me. Okay, like, of course. My first my first love was acting. Okay. Yeah. So when I write it's always like, well, I want to put a role for myself somewhere. So, are you going to, to be the one who produce it, or you also co-direct it, or direct it, or? Oh, I don't know about directing. Okay. Um, I would love to stay. I, I wrote it. I would love to stay. Uh, keep keep some some. How do I say ownership of it by mm. being a producer? Mm-hmm. But but that all depends. You okay. know, that just. Who knows on what the future will bring? Yeah. Like some big director can say, "Wow, I love this script. I'll buy it for you for this much money," and it's okay. like it's a nice amount. And I say, "All right, I guess I don't have to produce it." And they don't want me in that role anymore. Okay, fine. Like who knows? Could okay, happen. yeah, Could happen. yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it would depend. It would depend on so many things. Yeah, interesting. Something to look on in 2021. Yeah. Let's uh, cross our fingers. Yes. All right. And maybe we can end end on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. Because <laughs> last time uh, when we did the web series, I really enjoyed it, mm. and the result was beyond mm. my expectation. Actually, to be honest, yeah, yeah. It looks yeah. fantastic, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it looks fantastic. Yeah. Um. Well, okay. Uh, we can end it here. Uh, for everyone who happens to still be listening in the English section, yes, you can watch this uh, series that we're talking about. It's called English Mass of the Series. Um. We'll put a link on the description, but uh, then again, we might forget because <laughs> I say that during recording, but this won't be up posted until like a month or two, and then okay. by then it'll be like we totally forgot we said that. But um, if not, you can just you can just search on YouTube. Uh, yes. English Massive, the series, it should pop up. Dennis, can you also put my YouTube channel on Absolutely. the description link? Thank you. Absolutely. <laughs> Now this we won't forget if, yeah. if when I text you like a month from now and I say hey what do you want me to write in the bio for you you, you remind me then absolutely we, we won't forget I'll remind you to put on the the, the link of English massive <laughs> got it yeah. there we go now we won't be forgot <laughs> yeah all right then thanks everybody Thank for you, listening bro. and watching thank you Calvin thank I'll you. see you next time <laughs>